Hey everyone, Micah here with ebikeschool.com and today I'm going to be unboxing and testing out the Wolf Warrior. This is a 50 mile an hour electric scooter from Fluid Free Ride. Now I want to give a little safety warning right away. This is a 50 mile an hour electric scooter and these things can be dangerous. So please, if you're going to get into these fast electric scooters, do it safely, wear the proper protection gear, all of that. All right, now let's get to opening the scooter. Now I actually got this scooter used, but it's supposed to be in pretty good shape. So I'm hoping this thing looks pretty good. All right, so we've got two chargers here. Ugh. I imagine there are two charge ports because these things have huge batteries. I guess I should also mention that this thing is over 100 pounds. The box said 125 pound shipping weight, but that's, you know, with the chargers and the accessories and the packing. But this is apparently a very heavy scooter, so probably want to be careful lifting this sucker out. Get off of there. There we go. All right, so here we've got a scooter. Oh, man. All right, got some big honking mountain bike handlebars here. All right, just got to screw on the handlebars and I will be golden. All right, the sky looks angry, so let's hopefully get this thing together quickly here. All right, handlebars on. There's a safety pin here, which looks like gets connected with the chain down here at the fulcrum, but the chain is broken. But that's okay, I can fix that chain. All right, so for a used scooter, it looks, looks pretty good. Turning on is a good sign. Man, this is a honking kickstand. This is the biggest, nicest kickstand I've ever seen on a scooter. Okay, lights turn on. Oh, sh a loud horn. Let's do a little test here. Woo! <laughs> All right, now you should not ride these without a helmet. I am going like six feet here. All right, so it works. Now it's time to get geared up and go test this thing for real. Alright, it's pretty hard to describe what a 5,000 watt scooter feels like, but it's almost more like a motorcycle than a scooter feeling in terms of power off the line. It's thrilling, it's adrenaline rushing, it's just plain old fashioned fun. It's also not the safest way to get around, so please note that I am wearing a full motorcycle helmet, an armored jacket, full pants, and I wore gloves most of the time, but sometimes I wasn't wearing them during filming because I forgot to put them on after messing with the camera. But I definitely recommend suiting up if you're going to be riding fast electric scooters like the Wolf Warrior. And on the subject of fast scooters, I want to talk for just a minute here about the efficacy of these types of vehicles and whether or not they are quote unquote worth it. I'm not talking about worth in terms of money either. I'm talking about whether they're worth the risk. I'm not going to sugarcoat it and say that these things are safe, because they're not. If you hit a big pothole at full speed, you could get messed up for real. If you're not wearing a helmet and you go down at 50 miles an hour, you could be eating through a straw for the rest of your life, or worse. That being said, it's not like I shy away from these things either. This isn't exactly my first spin on a 40 to 50 mile an hour electric scooter. I've been on the Turbo Wheel Lightning, the Cabo Mantis, the Curus NF, and the Dualtron Thunder, all of which provide amazing speed and performance. But with great speed and power comes great responsibility. You'll notice that I'm riding on smooth roads here, and I'm riding responsibly, not like a hooligan. You'll also notice that while it's fun to get these things up to their top speeds, I don't hit 50 miles an hour very often. Instead, I spend most of my time cruising around in the 30 to 40 mile an hour range, which is plenty fast for suburban and city riding. Sure, the high power means you can reach those high speeds if you want, but I prefer using that high power for its excellent hill climbing and acceleration, not just the high speeds. 
And there's one other thing that I love about high power scooters, and that's the ability to perform well off-road. Now I have street tires on this Wolf Warrior, and so this is not at all the setup you want for sand and dirt and rocks, but it's actually working decently well. I mean, I'm sliding all over, sure, but the power is there to rocket me across all of this different terrain, as long as I don't wash out due to lack of traction on these street tires. <laughs> Between the high power and the awesome suspension of the Wolf Warrior, which is honestly some of the best scooter suspension I've ever tried in an off-road scenario, this thing is hilariously fun off-road. It gives me just so much of a rush, maybe even more, than hitting those high speeds on the pavement. So if you can get your hands on one of these scooters, or are prepared to lay down the cash for one of these, which I believe the Wolf Warrior is around $2,999 right now from Fluid Free Ride, then I highly recommend that you find some area like this where you can hit the dirt and play around off-road because this is just too much fun to pass up. And that is one of the biggest benefits to these high-power electric scooters, in my opinion. Yeah, they make great commuter vehicles because of that high speed and power, but they also make awesome off-road recreational vehicles. Doing double duty like this is something that most scooters just can't handle, but the whole foyer, it just eats this stuff for breakfast and it asks for more. So in conclusion, this is a ridiculous electric scooter, but in a good way. It's ridiculously awesome with a crazy amount of power, and it's just so much fun. So uh, I think that's it. Last but not least, time to announce the randomly selected winner for my last video. And the winning commenter is... Robert Cribbs. So congratulations. Just let me know which one of my books you'd like can be either uh, my books on building batteries, on DIY solar power, on e-bikes or electric motorcycles. Let me know where to send it. And anybody else who wants a chance to win one of my books, just put a comment down below. Say anything you want, and hopefully you'll be the randomly selected winner next time. If you don't want to wait till then, you can find all of my books on Amazon. All right, see you next time, everyone.